now we uh, we need to install the new spring head to the um, printer. First, we take out the head. This is a new spring head. We turn it in this side, and we find the connection ports here. And now we need to connect the cables on the head. The first cable we need to connect is the top one. The top one. We check about the the cables, pins. Make sure they are good conditions. Then we can connect it gently to the top one spot. Okay. Then the bottom one. Also check about the pins. Make sure they are good. Then we connect it. The pins should be face outside. Okay, then we put it in. Okay, and then we make the cables in order. <coughs> the middle one should be under the top one. The top one will be covered on the on this top. And we should be like this. We should be like this. And then we put the put the ring head on the carriage. This side, this side go first down. And the cable was clipped into the uh, was uh, put into the clips. Make sure it was flat in the uh, make sure it was uh, in the bottom side of the head. Check out they were in the in the even they're in the same positions with the carriage. And then we should load the schools. There's three schools, one here, one here, and one here. A lot of schools on the carriage. Okay. Then after we load the school, we should uh, connect the dampers to the print head. <coughs> we find the dampers. They should be have the labels, have the uh, tabs on the tubes. We connect it one by one. The four whites on the first. And then we can add a K, black K, C, M, white. Uh, because this spring head is a little bit loose, so I will use a, a stick to put it to fix the spring head on the on the carriage. The first, the, your new head no need to do this. This one just an uh, old one, so I have to do this. Okay, now the head was installed. Finished.